this conference is about opening science to meet the future challenges, although I believe that there is already a number of challenges we should, today's challenges we should tackle during this meeting. Uh, it is held in a sp rather special place, it's the University of Warsaw Library, which is actually the institution that provides the free access to its collection and it is basically its most fundamental mission. The open science concept uh, is very closely, closely related to a smaller issue and this smaller issue is the free access to knowledge and free access to scientific journals. It's a very intensively and uh, actively discussed area. Many initiatives are, could be found in this uh, field. And I believe that uh, we all need a more detailed insight into this field. Because it seems that uh, the first, uh, in the first approximation, the concept is rather simple. The knowledge generated uh, using the public funds should be available freely to everyone. Although, if we come to more details, we can see that there are a lot of checks and balances to be done. It is rather simple if we speak about the fundamental research, where the, we have to do with discoveries, and those discoveries are uh, spread among the scientific community and broad public. It is because we usually work for over the few centuries according to the scheme that all these discoveries should be delivered to the public. It is slightly different if we come to the area of inventions, design, innovations. So not only the fundamental science, but also to all types of applied projects and uh, applied knowledge. Here we come to the couple of fundamental questions. The first fundamental question, at least from my perspective as a university director, is what does it mean currently, what is the content of the concept of intellectual property rights? We all generate some intellectual uh, achievements, some of those achievements are protected by rights, and how this concept of intellectual property rights corresponds to the free access to knowledge. Further, the Free access to knowledge, it could be simply discussed in the simple way if we take into the consideration a rather simple model of the university. I would uh, call it the business model of the university. If the university is just a public institution, entirely supported from public funds and supported in the sufficient way to conduct the research, then the situation is simple. But in reality, this business model is much more complex. First of all, universities are no more supported ent entirely from public sources and it is even expected that they will promote the cooperation with, uh, with industry, with economy, with companies. Then we come into the situation that the knowledge is produced or generated not only using the public support but using the shared support from public and private sources. Another issue is the legal system. If we speak about the property rights and free access, we have to consider that uh, all these uh, concepts are based on a particular legal system and those legal systems are different in different countries. So most probably there is no one simple answer to the question how to promote the open access to knowledge. And finally, we come to the, another issue, which is what are actually researchers paid for? Are they, pay, are they paid for their work? I mean the work in the uh, legal, in the, in the understood in the legal framework of, as coming to the office, generating some information or doing some kind of a, I would say, scientific business? Or are, are they paid for their achievements in innovation, in discoveries, and in, uh, in, in uh, inventions. This is something that 
comes into the play when we start to speak with legal advisors and lawyers because they very often ask this question. So there is a lot to be discussed today and I think that uh, we, are, we need much more discussions than this we are able to do today. But I would be very interested in knowing at least some answers to these points. I very warmly welcome you to the University of Warsaw, to the conference on opening science to the future challenges, and I wish you a very good discussions and very fruitful conference. <laughs>